uh, working with a lot of wellness professionals, with a lot of mom entrepreneurs, working with um, small business owners who uh, feel stuck and are not too sure how to move their business forward. Um, so this is what I do now. And today what I'd like to do is share with you a few tips um, on how to adapt uh, your small business uh, during this lockdown period. So uh, let me see. So um, you've probably seen this earlier, a small business tip to adapt your small business during lockdown. So we have about 15 minutes left. Um, and if you're not watching live, I'm sure you can replay this later and maybe try some of those things. I'm trying to figure out my chair here. Here we go, because it's in, it's in reverse. <laughs> Uh, so yes, yeah, so I said today that I'll share uh, four tips, I actually have eight, so uh, we'll see how we are doing with time. So um, I will share this, um, it's quite useful to have, it's a nice little reminder, I don't know if you can see it, my ink is starting to run out of color, uh, I need to stock up a little bit. I will share this on my page uh, or I will check with Sandra if uh, she's happy for me to share this in the group. So shall we start and go through this together? Let's start with tip number one. As you might have noticed, I love having fun with business. Um, and this is our tip number one. So tip number one is keep business fun. So while all this is changing, all the way that we are currently working and delivering our services, some technical challenge might come up because the, some of those technologies might be new uh, uh, for you to use. Some of you might never ha have been online at all. It might be a real challenge. Others might already be a little accustomed to delivering uh, your services online. But still, every day we are learning on uh, the new uh, uh, gadgets and new technology. Um, I have just myself learned something absolutely new yesterday about a feature on Zoom. Did you know that you could, uh, if you're running a group, a workshop or a group online on Zoom, did you know you could inform your participants to switch, uh, to switch off only when there is a gallery view. So when you have all the people in the gallery switch their uh, uh, screen. So not completely switch it off, but switch uh, their uh, screen for others not to see. So there's, there's an option if you go to the three little dots at the bottom, uh, you'll see what I mean. So yes, I discovered that uh, yesterday myself. We learn every day and I've been trying new tools I've been trying, um, in addition to Zoom, I've been trying other streaming tools, some that I like, some that I don't like. So this is exactly what, um, uh, what I'm talking about in point number one, keep business fun. Um, I was being interviewed last week and uh, with the host of uh, the platform, The Hub, uh, we were going to try out something new, a new platform, and it didn't work out. But we laughed about it, we explained to our viewers, and it's okay. Now is the time to try things. Now is the time to actually uh, try new tools, try new things, and it's okay if it doesn't work. Um, tip number two uh, is nurture your existing clients, audience, community. Uh, don't be afraid to give and share. So what do I mean by nurture your existing clients, uh, audience and community? Uh, so before the lockdown, you had, uh, you might have had a following, a, a nice group of people following you online. And because of all the changes, because of um, the sudden uh, change of circumstances, you might have had to take some time back to reflect, to plan, to strategize, and that's absolutely fine. 
But if you are running a small business, you have to remember that you must still communicate with your audience, with your clients. So if you are taking a little bit of time uh, to refocus, which is absolutely fine, you must keep your audience, your clients, your, uh, your, uh, your community informed. Let them know either by email, either by a group message, or even contact them individually. So it's very important, uh, stay in touch with uh, your audience and be transparent, be honest while staying professional. Don't be afraid to give and to share. Uh, during those challenging times, during the lockdown, uh, it's very important to be there for your community, for your clients. The focus should not be about making money, although it, it can be very tempting at the moment because you have this wide pool of internet um, uh, markets accessible at the tip of the fingertip. Um, it might be very um, uh, and enticing to focus on more business rather than focusing on what you already have. So your priority number one should always be what you you have first a bit like in life cherish what you have first and then if you get more then it's a bonus so don't be afraid to give more during these times don't be afraid to share a little bit more than you would usually during these times because remember um, now are challenging times and in challenging times uh, one will remember the people who were there for them uh, in in business and in life. So that's tip number two. Nurture your existing clients, the ones you have now. Don't be afraid to give and share. Number three, we are already on tip number three, how we're doing with time. We've got 10 minutes left. We're doing really good. Um, tip number three is think of the long term. And it goes back really to what I mentioned earlier. Um, uh, thinking of the long term, the people that you are connecting with, that you are staying connected with, and you are connecting uh, right now. I mean, it's amazing. Creating new connections at the moment uh, is simply great uh, with the internet. And this can be uh, followed up later, uh, hopefully when we go back to some sort of normality so think of the long term, take your time, don't rush things. Uh, remember, business is not about selling, it's about connecting, creating trust, helping others with your uh, business, your products and your ser service. So take your time, um, learn new business skills in, in the process, learn new business skills. Challenge yourself a little bit uh, or not. If you have decided that you are currently on survival mode and focusing on what is happening at home, that's absolutely fine. There is nothing wrong with that. But if you have decided that now is the time uh, for you to either start a small business or grow or uh, maintain your small business, so you have really the options. There's no right, no wrong. You have the options, but what I, I'm saying is, if you decide to um, uh, maintain or grow your small business, or even start your business during this time, by challenging yourself to learn and try new things, at the moment, it will help you going forward with your business, not only with the skills that you are acquiring right now, but also uh, because you are growing as a person to be more endurant and resilient. And that's very, very important uh, when you run a small business. So that was tip number three, all this talking for tip number three, which is think of the long term, learn new business skills, new life skills, um, I know I personally have uh, learned some uh, new skills, li life skills actually. Um, I have um, slowed down a little bit on the business side of things to incorporate uh, uh, existing and new life skills, uh, doing more cooking, uh, doing more 
uh, gardening. I've started up home gardening. Um, starting again a uh, drawing, uh, which is really amazing. Um, drawing and and um, generally art. I'm, I've joined some new classes. So really expand, expand your skills if you wish so. Now is a great time. And uh, the tip number four that I'd like to share, uh, which will be uh, the last one for today, is new ways to connect online. So if you weren't online uh, before the lockdown, um, because we're sharing uh, tips to adapt with the lockdown, if you weren't um, online during the lockdown and you've decided to try, great. Uh, it's a great move. Now is the right time, as we were saying earlier with tip number one, uh, try new things and have fun with it. Um, but there's few things you need to remember, whether it's something new that you're doing or uh, something that you, you are still doing. So when you connect online, you have to remember to be consistent. So be consistent, um, be consistent with your audience. So if you're planning events online, make sure you show up and um, make sure you don't cancel them last minute. It will, uh, it will make you, your business uh, look unreliable. Uh, so make, make sure you are consistent in the delivery of whatever you are delivering online. Show up ready, show up. Uh, you are your business. I'm a very, a very strong believer of you are your business. You represent your brand. Show up online as your business. Um, engage in a new way. So maybe you might want to incorporate a little bit of social uh, into what you're delivering. If you're delivering workshops or classes online, you might, might want to add a little bit of uh, social breaks uh, during your delivery. I know that I do. I incorporate a little bit of um, social into our uh, business chats. And um, yes, st staying profe being professional doesn't mean adding your personal touch. Everyone uh, delivers their uh, uh, services and runs their business in a particular way. And that should come across not only in the physical world, but you can definitely bring that across online. So remember to um, stay, uh, stay yourself, be yourself uh, online and offline. Uh, people will relate more and uh, will, will feel the connection better when uh, you are authentic, when your business is authentic. This was my last point, uh, my last tip, uh, how to tweak what you are currently delivering online, or if you want to venture uh, yourself in trying new things with your small business and adapt your business online. Um, as I said, uh, I will uh, I'll love to connect with all of you ladies um, in one of your events. Thank you very much, Sandra, for allowing me to connect here and share my story introduce myself shortly and share those um, business tips to adapt business online. Um, I do also run a free uh, a Facebook business group for startup entrepreneurs and small business owners who want to uh, get some um, tips to implement every week. This is something that I have set up free, completely free of charge only during lockdown. So. Only during lockdown, I have set up those groups where every week in a small group online, we focus on one small business task in a group, as a group, and we move our businesses, small businesses forward. So this is on Tuesdays. Uh, um, I will share the details um, with all of you, or you can check um, CCGM Consulting Limited Facebook page to find out the details. You can, of course, get in touch with me if you want to have a quick business chat. Uh, you can do that. A 20 minutes online business chat, absolutely free as well. I'm here for you. And you know what? Everyone can do this. Together we can. Together we can help each other. And it's all about what Sandra and uh, Niba Wimbledon is trying to achieve here. So thank you so much 
for listening to me and allowing me to share and introduce myself. Thank you so much, everyone, and see everyone very soon online.